I'm in my frou-frou shirt and my slippers. Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to here. Today we're gonna talk about something. We're gonna talk about why chords are centered around the first, third, and fifth degrees. Why those notes specifically? Why are we so obsessed with the first, third, and fifth? Tell me that. Well, I'm gonna tell you that. Okay, so the reason for that, just like everything in music, is because of the physics of sound. And specifically how we've mirrored the physics of the harmonic series in order to create chords. And so I made a video about harmonic series, I'll link it down below. I made a few of them, I think. And so you go watch those first, and come back here, okay? Don't worry, I'll wait. I'll wait. So as a refresher, when we play a note, such as that one, we're creating microfrequencies that rise above the baseline frequency. And the collection of all those microfrequencies are called the harmonic series. And those series together make up the entire sound of a full pitch. Is this thing on? And so there are so many cool little patterns that happen within the harmonic series. And it's because of one of those specific little patterns that we build our chords from. So let's go through the examples together and then, and then you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. So we'll use this open A string as our frequency example, and we see on the screen here, no here, it's probably here, right? Yeah, it's there. Yeah. We see all the hertzes of the microfrequencies that rise above the bass frequency, right? But now here's the thing, okay? These harmonic series right here. Are they trying to tell us something? Are they trying to tell us something? If this bass frequency right here is the bass frequency of the A note, are these frequencies that rise above the baseline frequency Notes too? Are these notes within a note? Well, no. Silly? No, I'm kidding, yeah. Yeah, that's really what it is. That's exactly what it is. Notes within a note. And so to make the pitch of one full note, like this open A note here, mm. we need a collection of other notes. Ain't that cool? Okay, but now which notes? Which notes are they? Let's talk about it. So the first harmonic series or the bass frequency is the A note, right? We already established that. The second harmonic is also an A note because it's double the frequency of the bass frequency, right? So it's just the octave above. And now the third harmonic has a hertz of 330. And which note has a hertz of 330? I have to do math. I forgot I have to do math. Well, we could Google it. We can certainly Google it. Or we could do a little, tiny little mathematical formula. It's quick, I'll show you. And that formula is 12 times log two which I have no idea what that means, times frequency divided by reference note frequency. So let's go over all of that. So the frequency part will be 330, because that's the note whose frequency we're trying to figure out. And the reference note frequency can be any note, really, any note whose hertz you know. You could plug in there. But usually, we use 440 as a reference. That's like the standard in, in, in music math, 440. And 440 is an A note, so either this one, this one, for that one. All three of those A's have a hertz of 440. And so let's do that calculation and then I'll show you what we do next, right? So we do 12 times log 2 times 330 divided by 440 and we get negative 5. Mm, interesting, okay, well, cool. What now? Negative 5. Yeah, I'll play negative 5, no problem. Well, what we do with that number is we have to go to one of the 440 notes because that was our reference note, right? And so that minus 5 is a direction, okay? It's telling you which way to go and where to go in order to find your note, okay? So we'll pick this 440A right here, and since it's minus 5, we have to move down 5 frets. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we land on this E note. And so that note, this note, this note, Technically it's 329 and something, but it's 330 essentially, you know? And so all this to say, our third harmonic is an E note. So we went from A, A to E. Now E, E note, E note, does that tell you something? E note, hmm, let's keep going, okay? And then we'll circle back. I'm having a little bit of an issue right now because I think I might have given myself calcium poisoning. Oopsie. Now let's go over to the fourth harmonic. It has a hertz of 440. And what note has a hertz of 440? Well, it's the A note, right? We just covered that. So it's another A note. So it goes A, A, E, A. Oh, so how did I get calcium poisoning? I just took a lot of vitamin D. I took a lot of vitamin D. I thought I was getting cold, so I took a lot of it. And I think I gave myself calcium poisoning. Well, what, what do you want me to do? Sorry. Now we'll go over to our fifth harmonic. Our fifth harmonic has a hertz of 550 hertz. And which note has a hertz of 550 hertz? Well, we'll do our little calculation, right? So we'll do 12 times log 2 times 550 divided by 440, and we get the number around 4, right? So we'll start on our A note here, right? Move up 4 frets. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we get C sharp. And this C note is technically 554 something hertz, something like that. But, um, 
550, close enough. Now let's review our data that we've collected here, okay? Within this one pitch of this A note, we have an A note, a C sharp note, and an E note. And what notes make up the A major chord? The A, C sharp, and E note. The first, thirds, and fifth degrees of the A major scale. Wow! And so that's why we choose the first, third, and fifth degrees of a scale to build a major chord and to build really all chords off of, right? It's our base because we are mirroring the natural movement of a harmonic series in a pitch. So we just took what we saw in nature happening with frequencies and just manipulated it to make a full chord, right? Uh, oh, wow. Who's texting me right now? I'm checking about chords. And that's why when we play, let's say this A note here. Please ignore that I'm on the B note right there. Let's pretend I'm on the fifth fret A. Okay, it does. And follow with an A major chord. It sounds very harmonious because in this chord here, we are replicating the exact harmonic movement of the A pitch. Ain't that cool? So it's not arbitrary. Arbitra arbitrary? Arbitrary? And so I will mention that the higher you go into the harmonic series, you do get different notes, but they're very weak. So you don't really hear it. So it doesn't really count, okay? And so that's it guys, okay? That's it. So that's why we use the first, third, and fifth degrees to build chords. So that's all I have to say. Don't make me talk about anything else because I don't want to. Want to read some obituaries? Martin Malcolm Barry, 1934 to 2014. Skeet shooter, gambler, tennis player, real estate agent, lotto winner. Oh my God, he sounds like a lot of work. Don't forget to go to MeganTourismusic.com for the 72nd Guitar eBooks. We've got two of them, okay? 72nd Guitar City eBook is a complete chord scale theory reference book, all organized in the cage system. And we got the beginner guitar guide. That's for beginners. It's gonna guide you on your beginner journey. Everything you should learn at first is all in order, all in the book. I have a course coming out too, everyone. I don't know if it's out by the time I post this. If it is, I'll link it somewhere. But it's the key to music theory world too where we talk about the basics, the absolute fundamentals of how we build keys and where chords come from and where the notes of the scales come from and all that stuff, okay? That's all. Just can't wear my music theory world tour. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Because at 5,000 subscribers, I'm gonna solve a Rubik's Cube for the world to see. It's like an apron. That's all I want this. Watch this video. Thanks for all that you do. Don't forget. If ever you take too many supplements and you accidentally give yourself calcium overdose, hypothetically speaking, I don't know, don't be frightened, okay? It's gonna be okay. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you take too much vitamin D and then you get too much calcium in your eyeballs and then they dry out and fall out of your face, whatever. Who even cares? Who do you need eyeballs for? The point is don't forget that if you get calcium uh, uh, poisoning, just go about your life. Don't forget if ever you have too much calcium in your bones. Calcium in your bones is really good for your bones.